Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Ashley. Today is day 25 on my 30 day fast. I'm super excited, it's almost done. As you guys remember, I am going to Disneyland and that is when I plan to break this fast. Um, I will be continuing on fasting after Disneyland, but I wanted to make sure that you guys know that I am still doing what I do. Um, I am doing big, huge gallons of water as much as I can throughout the day. Um, the issue is with going to the bathroom a lot, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm trying not to do that as much as what, you know, I can help. But at the same time, I do have to stay hydrated because I am on the move constantly all day long. Um, everything is going really well. I'm not experiencing any fatigue other than just general being tired from, you know, the stress from my body going through all this health stuff and not having any of the answers yet although I did get a call from my doctor's office today and I'm waiting for a call back because I was driving at the time so they left a message um, yeah so I mean we'll get the results and hopefully it'll help me relax a little bit she did say she needed to talk to me uh, the nurse did so hopefully it's nothing bad but um, I will definitely let you guys know um, so yeah it's um, I'm definitely trying to stay hydrated and drink as much as I can when you're stressed that time of the month, of course, um, you really have those cravings and water does tend to help. And also, if you guys remember, I love chewing on ice. So that's my big tip for people who are doing fasting. Chew on ice when you get stressed. Um, and uh, electrolyte waters, those are also good. I have electrolyte powder from Dr. Berg. Sometimes just changing the taste is enough to knock you out of um, whatever funk you're in. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, there's nothing really, I haven't really been recording for one. I, I've just been super busy, like literally 7am till midnight, uh, working on some things for some kids at school. And, um, I have just, I've just been doing what I do. And so, yeah, um, I, I love updating you guys when there's actually things, you know, for me to talk about other than the same thing over and over, which is why these updates are a little bit more sporadic. But, um, yeah, I'm still here, you guys. I'm, I am um, trying to push as much as I can. And then we still have four months until the end of the year. So my goal is to be at or below well, I'll, I'll say 199, so below 200 um, by the first of the year. That is my goal, not my long-term goal, because I'm going to continue on after the first, still trying to get to about 148-ish, 138-ish, something, something like that. Um, but if I can meet, you know, the 199 goal, then I'll be happy. So I'm still pushing for that. So my plan is literally to fast this week, go to Disneyland, do my OMAD, um, and then come back and start fasting again until the first of the year. And then my keto 365 day journey will be up, which is um, kind of exciting and kind of scary at the same time because um, I love keto and it keeps me, doggies are coming in right now. <laughs> um, it keeps me kind of sane so that I don't go crazy with my food choices. Um, I feel like I need to be supervised sometimes because if it wasn't for the restrictions of keto, I, it, it potentially opens up an entire world of things that I should not be eating. So I'm pretty sure that any lifestyle that I choose after keto is going to be keto based. A majority of the time so if it's not keto it's probably gonna be paleo but um, I'm not really too sure uh, what I'm gonna do yet uh, there will be a lot of experimenting coming up and I hope you guys stay tuned for that because there's a lot of different ways of eating and a lot of different things I want to try and I'm also planning on a pizza day I've been planning that since the beginning of this keto 365 day challenge. Um, I'm going to have one pizza day where I'm going to eat pizza all day long and not just like out of, out of a box. I'm going to go to a restaurant, you know, 
order some pizza, have a pizza buffet or whatever. There's a couple of them at Little Caesars that I want to get, those deep dish. Um, they have like a lunch combo. It's four slices of a, a really deep dish pizza. Though That I remember. It was really good. Um, and then there's a couple of other things I want to try. And I need to get this stuff all out of my system so that I can go into my healthy living that and not have so much restriction put on myself. Um, I realize that the restriction is what is causing me a lot of stress, actually. And I experienced that this weekend. I was just going to drink water. And all of a sudden, I had a craving for... Um, I had a craving for pork rinds and um, ice cream and the, the keto friendly one. Halo Top is, can be keto friendly except for they have a lot of additives in Halo Top plus it's not the lowest in carbs. Just so you guys know. There is a Rebel ice cream, that one's not too bad and there's another one too that I found but anyway long story short I did have a craving for this and it made me mad that I couldn't have it because I had placed this water fasting restriction on myself for, you know, the last 10 days. And sorry if you guys hear that, that's actually a walkie talkie that I have that vibrates when there's noise in my daughter's room. I've had it ever since she was a baby. So just in case you're wondering what that vibration, vibrating sound is. Um, so yeah, anyway, and it made me mad and it made me upset and I felt like a little kid throwing a tantrum. I didn't say anything, but I just felt it inside and I was just like, hmm, you know, so, um, I had told my husband earlier in the day, don't let me give in. Don't let me, you know, don't let me get it. And he didn't. So we went from, we were going to go to the store and we decided not to go to the store. We just went straight home. And then like five minutes later, I was fine. So having... The options available is sometimes where people get into trouble. So that's kind of why I want to get things like all out of my system. Because once my Keto 360 ends that challenge with my different eating disorders that I've had that you guys know about, I feel like I am going to be a kid in a candy store and just be able to like go hog wild and crazy. Um, but I feel like if I don't get some things out of my you know, out of the way and just get them over with and get the taste out and everything, then I can start, you know, the healthy lifestyle that I want to actually live for the rest of my life. Um, there are going to be times where I try different things that I've never had before because I've been on keto for so long and they've come out with new things. Um, so you guys are going to see that and experience that with me. It's going to be, if it's, if it's a trigger for you guys, then don't watch it because I completely understand that, you know, to watch somebody like me go through a weight loss journey where I'm, you know, drinking tons of water and losing weight and dealing with all of these mental issues, um, with, you know, eating disorders and everything to actually watch someone go through and then go and eat a pizza or eat, you know, an actual burger with a bun on it might be hard for some people. Um, so if it bothers you, please don't watch it. And that's totally fine. Um, but either way, you know, I love your support, you guys. Um, I have a lot of things coming up, so please stay tuned. I'm doing really good. There's nothing really to report yet, but I probably will check in with you guys tomorrow because... I'm waiting for a call from this doctor, so let's see what he says. See you guys tomorrow.